yeah, I cheated. So <laughs> I'm just coming clean with you guys. All right. Well, before I start, my name is Melody Johnson. This is Sizzle Serve Yum, where I've transitioned from the ketogenic diet all the way to full-time carnivore. And I started off strong with a great birthday week, started on Thursday, um, eating all the things I was supposed to eat. But then I started going downhill and eating some things that I should not have eaten that was causing some massive triggers and then it led to me eating other things. Since Thursday, I've worked out like four times, but I did gain weight. I gained about six pounds, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I actually gained that much weight. But I also think it was from the salt, and maybe sodium that was in these foods and maybe other things. So it taught me several things several lessons. One, I realized that I'm not ready to go back to the sad diet, to the standard American diet. I'm going to have to stick to carnivore for a while. Um, the second thing that I realized was I need to be prepared. Like I didn't prepare this week. I had a, a few other things going on and I never took the time to get my snacks, my carnivore snacks. They're like backup snacks. Like if I'm done with my food, then I have like these little snacks that kind of hold me over until the next meal. And I did not have that. The third thing that I'm going to recommend is getting away from, if you did have a food that triggers you, um, getting away from the rest of that food. Like, don't keep it in the house. Like, toss it away. And I didn't have that. You know, uh, someone bought me cookies from, like, a really good bakery called Crumble. And I ate it. And now I, you know, I just can't go back to eating that kind of food. It led to a spiral. And then I, it just went downhill from there. I ate all the things that I wanted to eat that were more meat-based. Um, but... It still contained lots of sauces, and I think this is where the the calories came in that helped that made me gain weight because I wasn't burning enough. I was in, in taking more calories than what I was burning, so I think that was part of the weight gain problem that I had. Remember, I was at two forty nine. I left off at, and I kind of like sat there for a minute, but now I gained like five pounds back. I know because I ate since Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, that it may take me about a week or two to get back on track because I do I do know that um, it takes about three days for your body after you consume like carbs and stuff to be able to get back on ketosis. So yeah, I certainly know I knocked myself out of ketosis, but that's okay. I've got a plan. I'm going to do if. <laughs> You're like, what's if? <laughs> intermittent fasting. I'm going to start intermittent fasting. And so I've done it before. I've done it before on carnivore. In fact, I've done it often to the point where it's almost like a normal thing. I did a little test when I started intermittent fasting. I would go ahead and eat like within a certain time frame. So say if I decided to eat within, uh, I start my meals at 1130, my last meal would be seven. Yeah. So I had like a seven to eight hour window and then I wouldn't eat the rest of the time. It was just straight up water, uh, which was a little challenging. But now that I've kicked myself out of ketosis and I can still feel like the cravings. I'm like, nope, I can't go back to eating that way. I went back and I looked at my old videos. You guys are just so awesome seeing some of these comments here. And then also, it made me think about why I'm on this journey. Since I just turned, and I'm not, I'm not going to say my age, but since I just turned this age, I, um, I want to be able to be healthy and I am way healthier than I was last year. And so by this time next year, I want to reach my ideal weight. Um, and I, I'm just going to say it. I want to reach 150 or at least 160. That's going to be like my ideal weight that I would like to stay at. Um, but I also want to be muscular during that time. So integrating the walks, integrating everything. 
Today is day one of intermittent fasting. So I have not had breakfast um, and I only had a little bit of water. I'm going to start drinking my first uh, 24 ounces now, which is about 11 o'clock. So I'm going to start drinking my, my first 24 ounces so I can stay hydrated. And I'm going to, um, it's not, it's not, well, I'll say it is going to be like a water fast, what I'm going to be doing just for today. So this time tomorrow, I will report back to you and see how it's gone. But in the meantime, we're going to track our water and I'm going to make sure I'm drinking my elements sticks uh, so I don't get dehydrated because I'm still going out to walk. Um, yeah, still going out to walk. All right. Well, I'm reporting back tomorrow. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next video.